Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. After a heap of requests, I've decided to give the Pacific Theatre DLC a try. And uh, now after playing it a bit, I thought I'd give my thoughts, as usual, over some uh, classic plane farming gameplay. I'm by no means an expert yet either, but I'll just try and explain how to fly against the new threats so you guys can get the most out of your planes. Just before I start, the gameplay in the background is 81.0 at about 3.1 kpm. It's nothing crazy, it's just the second game I recorded after maxing my plane out. I'm not even sure if I'm using the best loadout to be honest, but if anyone cares, it's on screen right now. Okay, so onto the main body of the video, the Pacific Theatre DLC. I'm mainly going to focus on the air gameplay here, because I've been playing most time in that, but I'll quickly touch on the infantry stuff as I gave that a crack too. So to start off with, we've been given four new planes, the two Corsair variants and the two Zero variants. So far I've only really flown with the A6M20 and the F4UA1A Corsair, since after a quick read I found that those were the two most viable planes, like the light fighter ones I guess. With these I really like how they decide to balance them. Both planes have almost the exact same upgrade tree, so you don't have any chance of faction imbalance like you have with the main game. The only difference is that the Zero has nose mountain cannons, so they're more accurate, they have no convergence point, and the Corsair has wing mountain cannons. Obviously the nose mountain ones are much nicer, but it's just such a small thing to complain about after dealing with insane imbalance throughout the rest of the game. Now talking about the actual upgrades themselves, there's a few options that might be slightly overpowered. The first one is these cannons I'm using, which are the level 2 left upgrade. They're called the 4x20mm cannons high explosive. These things are just absolutely ridiculous. They have a very generous amount of splash damage and a very solid range. They aren't too great against aircraft however from my findings and they don't do anything against armor. The other interesting upgrade in my opinion is the 2x incendiary bombs. These things are great fun when they hit and they basically just leave a burning cloud on the map for 20 seconds or more. They seem pretty balanced but I think the duration might need to be toned down a bit. It's a bit stupid when you have the bombs dropped like 30 seconds ago and then you just get a random kill. It's, it's kind of silly. Now the main thing you guys probably want to hear my opinion about isn't actually the planes at all. It's a new Fliegerfaust, so basically the infantries can now get a high velocity, long range anti-air launcher that hits for 91 damage without warning. So when you hear that, it sounds ridiculously fucking overpowered, and it kind of is. Honestly, I'm just really torn at whether to think it is overpowered though in a way. Like, I mean obviously it is beyond overpowered, but so are the planes. So it just creates this weird meta. And the meta is basically that you're just fucking up infantry from like infinite range with the planes but the infantry are fucking you up if you get anywhere near them. So it's just like, it's weird, like the planes are, I feel like the planes get on top here, but still, the infantry have a really good chance, and it's just like everyone's just fucking one-hitting each other. It's, it's really weird, I don't know what the dice have went with with this one to be honest. I feel like I've experienced the worst of it as well, playing on OC servers where everyone just knows who they are, like who each other are, like, I'll log on a server, I'll see all these names and I'll be like, I recognize all these guys. They probably recognize me too. They see me load to the game and they're like, I'm gonna flee a fastest kid. So like, people just like know who they each other are and they know how to counter each other. That's how OC servers are, I guess. So for tactics against the Flieger Faust and flying in this new update, this is what I'm doing really. So firstly, you wanna keep your distance. I really mean this. So you always wanna strafe at maybe like a 40, 60 degree angle so you get a bit slower and you have more time to shoot. And you do it from a really, really far range. You shoot off a few rounds here and there, and then you just pull off before you get into Flieger Fast range. That's just something you're going to have to find out the hard way. I certainly did. And if you do this perfectly, you're basically just not going to die. Also, try and strafe from the sides of the battlefield. That way, you're not directly looking where the infantry is. The infantry's not directly looking at you, because they're going to be looking at their teammates. So you'll have to pick between looking at your teammates or yourself. And the issue here for me is just discipline. I can easily overextend for a few extra kills, and it's just something I'm going to have to work on. Another thing is the bombs, obviously you can't get too close, so you're going to have to learn how to lob them from really far up. And it's a skill I'm going to have to develop myself. Secondly, you want to stay out of dogfights. Now, throughout this gameplay, you'll notice I'm barely looking for dogfights. The reason for this is the Fliegerfaust. If I take a fight with someone, odds are it lands somewhere within the range of the Fliegerfaust, and if that happens, I get fucked up. So, as soon as they notice, I basically become a free killer if I'm within the Fliegerfaust range. So I just try to stay aware and scare off other planes, so if I see someone coming towards me, I'll turn towards it, shoot at it, you know, get into a quick little dogfight, but I'll never commit to the full fight, because they're just going to fly me to a fleet of house. And the final tactic I want to put you guys on is positioning. Now, as I said earlier, you want to be attacking from the sides of the battlefield, but your overall positioning relative to your spawn is important too. So you make sure you're never on their side of the map. If you end up there, odds are you'll have to dogfight someone. And before you're done, another plane can spawn and basically just trap you up there waiting to die, 
Dogfighting isn't high skill like BF4, so you can't just roll through fights in 10 seconds. You really gotta allow for a lot of time and a lot of space to take dogfights in this game. Anyway, these are the real essentials in my eyes. If you follow these tips, hopefully you guys will be able to put up some good numbers in this new DLC. And for a quick note on infantry, and I mean really, really quick, it's good and bad for me. Things I enjoy, like the quick, clean fights and tunnels and stuff, like playing medic, just rolling through people. But I find there's so much open space that you end up just running around, getting spammed until you die by planes, tanks, MMGs, whatever. That's just my quick opinion though. Also, planes can really fuck you up too, but if you're just getting fisted by a plane, equip the Fliegerfaust and you'll just kill them. So the last thing I really wanted to touch on was my channel in general. I've neglected it pretty hard since starting uni, and now this video is coming out in the middle of my exam period. From now on though, I might try to upload some more Battlefield related content, even if it is the occasional BF4 vid instead of 5. The new DLC has given us a fair bit of extra content to work on though, so I'll just try to stick around a bit for that and we'll see where it goes. I have plenty of non-Battlefield video ideas too, so I'll just work on those soon once I'm on my holidays. Anyway guys, I think that's it really, so I'll just leave the gameplay in the background so you guys can see my tactics play out. I think I'm talking through it here and there, so there's that I guess. My commentary is pretty rusty, I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I'll try to get back to this YouTube thing for y'all soon enough. Peace. I started off farming harder than I was, but he died first. Like, it's much more important to stay alive in the long run.
like the enemies are doing well. I might change that upgrade out because I don't feel like I need them.
to the way it goes. He started out getting more KPM, but he's dying a lot, so I'm trying to get the left of the dust, really. By someone who just plays a bit more safe. So it is easy. I think like our team is gonna. Are you going to push? I don't know. I think so. It's a big quick game. Just the first point, really. Be careful. I'm tempted to leave it and just not do anything. But it's also like...
still feeds all them right now, so I might see push them up. I could let them be. I'm getting A, I'm not gonna touch anyone on A. Hopefully he spawns on a teammate. You know. We have lost objective. Massive game. We're on the first point and I'm on 72. went for longer. Have a good game on it. That goes in this train very fast. They're getting they're getting beat. There we go. Let's uh, get a come on guys. Y'all got this. <laughs> I'm just trying to hit 150 to be honest. Flag, buddy. On the plane. Come on, get the ticket clutch, clutch, clutch. <laughs> they can do it. I believe. Oh, that seems really good. Oh, oh, oh. I think I just stay on the top of that. Big wing damage now. Stay in the fight, soldier. Please fuck, really. What is he doing?
there it is. I mean, first flag really. Didn't really get much more. Still a decent match really. Showing you guys how to fight against the Fliegerfaust, I guess. Can be tricky, I guess.